thing. I've always been really fascinated with computers. How do you so when I came to Case, I, I picked the first thing that said computer out of the uh, list of majors you could have, and uh, computer engineering came before computer science alphabetically. And later on, I saw my friends in mechanical engineering making stuff, making physical stuff. And I thought, I want to do that too. So I started adding majors. I chose Case because it was highly ranked and it was close to home. I grew up in the Cleveland area and since then I've traveled and lived in places um, as far as New York, California, uh, New Orleans, uh, Nepal, India, but I keep coming back to Cleveland. I like it here. I think I got started making things as a six-year-old, making stick forts in the woods. So just the, the making part, the having it in your mind and then moving your hands and moving your, your legs and making it happen in the real world and seeing that, that, that process has just been endlessly fascinating for the past 23 years. Some friends and I found a room that wasn't being used in the basement of Olin and we managed to get approval to use it. We set up a, uh, an early think box because we needed to drill a hole in something. We needed to make something physical and we just didn't have the resources. So we made it happen then and th those relationships turned into cool projects that we would do together and that I'm still doing today with uh, like the waterfall swing with friends that I met here at Case. Uh, so I've made things for all the way from in the Tesla Orchestra. These are the world's largest twin musical Tesla coils. We have uh, the waterfall swing. If you go to waterfallswing.com, these swings ride through this water. It looks like you're gonna get drenched, but just at the last second, a hole opens up in the water and you stay dry. So that's gone everywhere from NBC's Today Show, uh, it was on a Honda commercial aired during the Super Bowl, or Swatch, wristwatch. I've been able to do some projects that got some press. And we want to get our students of today, we want to get their projects some press. So that means they need to get it to a point where it's a finished, polished product that they can talk about succinctly with a good presentation, good demeanor, don't stare at their shoes, all these kind of things. So it's the whole, the whole enchilada of making a project from start to finish.